What's going on everybody? Back with another video. I just got home from work and decided to make a video right right away. Um, if I don't make it now, it's never gonna happen. So um, we're going in with very little prep. I've been kind of planning these fragrances in my head for a little bit now. And I think this is gonna be my top recommendations for summer as far as things I own and I've smelled. Um, they're gonna be in no particular order. And at the very end, I might pick my top three um, out of everything. But um, without further ado, let's kick it off with something that's great, in my opinion. Um, this is the Baser. This is from DS and Durga. A really beautiful all year scent. If you haven't got your nose on this, please do. It's one of the best offerings from the house. Um, this one's a very fig forward fragrance. It's a little milky, it's woody. Um, you do have that nice iris as well, along with the tonka bean. So really sweet fragrance, uh, super crowd pleaser with a little bit of a niche touch. So it's simple enough to grab and go, but it does have that nice character to it that, um, that will, um, you know, get you some attention. Um, and it's long lasting, so definitely worth the... Um, I don't even know what this is priced at nowadays, but you will get some, uh, use my cat, she proof, yes. Um, so that's Debaser, highly recommend, one of my favorites. Um, I wear I work quite a bit, um, and one of the best offerings from the house. Um, keeping up with that theme, I'm gonna pick another Dia Sindurga. This one, unfortunately, was a, a studio juice, so they only created about 100 bottles which is a shame because this is a, a gem for sure. Um, I wore this today actually to work and I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it every time. The inspiration was from this one was, uh, I believe there was like, essentially if you're playing baseball in the fields, you know, with a bunch of fl flowers around you, you got the baseball bat, so you got those woods. Um, but this one at the very top has lime, lemongrass, um, Middle notes are honeysuckle, champaca, geranium, and then you got a uh, vine, uh, and then you have also a milk note along with some woods. So similar bases these share, but this one has a lot more uh, brighter uh, top notes with that lime. The lime is really great in this one, so lime with milk. I never would have, would have thought of that, but makes a great comb combination. Um, it's a shame that, that this one wasn't brought back as a uh, part of their main releases because they've been doing that recently they've been bringing back certain uh, studio juices to make the uh, make room for and in, in their full lineup um they did that recently with um, rockaway beach which is another apparently very beachy fragrance that uh, a lot of people have love so i haven't got my nose on that but if you are you know like that type of sunscreen fragrance i highly recommend checking out uh, Rockaway Beach, which has made their way into the full lineup, but um, as far as something you can grab now, the Baser is the way to go. Um, going forward, we're going to go kind of fast. We're already at three and a half minutes. Um, next, we're going to go into Frederick Mall. Um, I couldn't pick one. It was very hard to pick one, but I might pick one of my top favorites at the very end. Um, but first, we're going to start off with something that came out maybe two, three years ago now. I think maybe two. Um, synthetic Jungle. Um, great fragrance I've worn almost half of it now so um, that tells you how much I like it um, this one just has some nice character to it um, you got that nice dirty musky top notes with that galbanum um, lily of the valley comes through towards the middle and I, I described this uh, I think pretty well in my original review but um, very deep dirty green uh, jungle fragrance um, not as deep as I would have thought but it is a little bit I would say it's in the middle between being super dark green and being like a light bright green um, but this one does have oak moss and patchouli in the base as well um, it can smell dirty to some people I do get like a weird sand note but that's I think that comes from like the geranium and I had some uh, some geranium also uh, issues with some other things but I um, that's gonna be a note featured in some other fragrances that I'll be talking about um, highly recommend synthetic jungle 
Um, turns out it's one of my favorite Frederick Malls. Um, next, we're gonna keep the Frederick Mall theme again. Um, this one is Geranium Pour Monsieur. Um, this is a very minty, masculine fragrance. You got a mint geranium star anise at the top. And then in the middle note, you have clove cinnamon. And then base, you got musk, sandalwood, incense, styrac, and benzoin. This one straight out of the atomizer, if you smell it from here, is very, very strong in the, in the mint and the geranium. Um, those are very prominent from that, um, which you also get in the opening notes. That'll last about maybe 20, 30 minutes, maybe an hour tops. And then after that, it does mellow out and it becomes this like beautiful, uh, beautiful wear where it's more balanced and very masculine, but lightweight masculine, if that makes any sense. Um, so this is a light fragrance. Um, I think I remember it being slightly cloying, but I did enjoy, you know, getting wafts of this. The sillage is, is pretty nice. Um, it does well in the air and it does leave like a slight trail, um, but really fun fragrance. I really enjoyed uh, Geranium Pour Monsieur. Um, it is masculine as the name says, Pour Monsieur. Um, and, and I think it's a fun, fun fragrance. Uh, great for, you know, every day or even nights out. It does have that, um, you know, that extra kick in it with the musks. Um, next, we got another one that I don't own a full bottle of yet, but I had got two of these samples and I've kind of been saving it. Um, but this one is Rose and Queer. So another green, another green fragrance that I, that I love from Frederick Mall. They do their green fragrances really nice. All of these are from different perfumers. You got Anfilippo, Dominique, and then you got Jean-Claude and this one. Um, top notes in this one are again, geranium, but this geranium is a little bit different. Um, the geranium from Geranium Pour Monsieur overpowers, um, no, the mint overpowers the geranium there. Whereas this one, you do get it uh, quite a bit at the top. You got black currant and Sichuan pepper. So Rose and Queer is if you want a little bit more spicy, if you want a spicy green fragrance, um, I think this one's very addicting. I, I need a bottle like bad, um, but I think that this one's very addicting. Um, and you got vetiver and cedar at the base. Um, rose, it's it's there, but you gotta dig. Um, it's there, but I guess it's blended very well that you can't really pick it out, um, which I know a lot of people had a problem with um, because of the names Rose and Queer. Um, whereas I also don't get much leather in this one, but um, I think it's a great, beautiful green fragrance. Um, I love the uh, spicy Sichuan in here. It's uh, very addicting and I, I need to get a full bottle, but I highly recommend Rose and Queer. I don't have a full bottle for that yet, but um, next is the, what I would say is my number one mall to recommend for the summer. And this is gonna be a surprise, but I've been wearing this quite a bit. Um, Uncut Gem. This I came around to after, you know, being disappointed for a little bit, but I've been wearing it quite a bit. I'm having fun with it. I'm, I'm starting to enjoy it quite a bit. And uh, I still have my thoughts on it. Like, it's is it overpriced? Yes, for sure. This doesn't feel like an expensive fragrance. It just feels like a nice designer-ish fragrance with a niche touch touch um but is it overpriced yes um is it basic uh yeah i would say so um it's very mass appealing which i think that this is a great fragrance to introduce someone to if they're interested in the house you know if they haven't experienced it any niche before or if they're trying to get their toes wet before they fully jump in, um, Uncut Gem is the, is the way to go. Um, this is a masculine fragrance through and through. Um, you get those top notes of ginger, bergamot, mandarin orange, angelica nutmeg. 
Middle notes are vetiver, olibanum leather, and then basic is musk and amber. I never really got to the musky part. I always just got the top notes all the way through, uh, mixed with some dirty vetiver, um, but um, really fun wear. I highly uh, enjoy this one quite a bit. And we'll leave it at that. Uh, so that's Uncut Gem. I know some people are gonna disagree with that, but I think it's a great summer fragrance. Um, great all, you know, all seasons, all type of thing. So easy pickup for me. Next, we're gonna go uh, to a newer one that I got recently. Um, this is Chypre Azuro from Lesson de Modab. I br briefly mentioned this in my recent video, but this one's a straight up orange peel fragrance. Um, you got Sicilian orange, tarragon, Indonesian patchouli, um, Egyptian rose, and amber. Um, considering the notes on this, this is a very long lasting citrus fragrance, or orange fragrance, which is great because um, those are usually don't last as long, but this can last, you know, a couple hours and even project. Um, but beautiful, realistic orange that I enjoy. Um, so if you like orange, Highly recommend that if you haven't tried it out. I know Rudy did a um, a summer list as well. He had an orange. I can't remember exactly what he had on there, but I need to get my nose on that and, and see how these compare. But Rudy, if you like oranges, check out Chypre Azuro and let me know what you think. Next, we have a Chanel, which is my number one um, Chanel fragrance for the summer um obviously i wear la leon in the summer i was gonna put it on here but a lot of people won't agree with that so we're gonna go with something a little bit lighter um this one's boy uh chanel boy by chanel um i every time i wear this it's a great time super light fun um easy i would say um um, this was made by uh, Olivier, Olivier Polge. And top notes are lavender, grapefruit, lemon. So you got a very bright opening there. And then middle notes are geranium, orange blossom, and rose. And then base, you got that uh, classic Chanel DNA with the heliotropes, the white musks. And you got sandalwood, vanilla moss, and coumarin. Um, but really bright, fun fragrance, long lasting as well. Same with this one. Um, that's kind of why I don't really like um, lighter fragrances, but these do um, last. Same with the base. Same with all of these. They're pretty long lasting in my experience. But these also are, you know, I guess a little niche. So they do spend a little bit more on that. But uh, I'm, I'm going to go with some cheapies at the very end that I'll show you guys that I enjoy and that I recommend for the summer. Um, next, we're going to go with a Lalabo. And this one is Bay 19. Um, this perfume was inspired by Petrichor. So if you like the smell of rain or wet dirt, or you know the earth, if you like earthy fragrances, Bay 19 is um, hits the nail on the head for that one. I highly enjoy this one. You got patchouli, you got ozonic notes, juniper berry green leaves, musk, and ambroxan. So this does have that classic La Labo DNA. Um, so it smells realistic, but it also does have that synthetic quality to it, which does make it last quite a bit. Um, projects pretty nice. Just a beautiful, I mean, I like patchouli, it's, it's, you know, but uh, this is a great patchouli fragrance, um, along with some aquatic notes and uh, some earthy earthy bits here and there. Um, but if you like the smell of rain, check out Bay 19. Highly recommend it. Um, easy easy wear for me as well. Um, but it can be a little um, cloying in, in my experience, but I enjoy the smell, so it doesn't bother me. Um, next, we're gonna go with a Cheapy. Um, this is gonna be uh, Lacoste Match Point. This is the I think EDT version, I'm not 100%, yeah, EDT, so this is the EDT version. Um, it's, this is the, you know, baseball, I mean baseball, tennis, tennis inspiration. 
You got basil at the top, grapefruit, pink pepper, clary sage, geranium, uh, gentiana, which I've never seen before. And you got cashmere and vetiver. So this one's your classic run of the mill men's designer fragrance. Um, it doesn't lean green per se. Um, you really don't have any green notes. This is just like a, I guess, similar vibe to, to a Uncut Gem, whereas it's just kind of like a combination of a bunch of things that makes this, you know, traditional classic men's fragrance. Doesn't have much character. Does it smell nice? Yes. Um, are you going to get much excitement out of it? No, but it's something easy to put on. Um, if you're going to go grab groceries or straight out the shower, you know, something like that. Something simple and easy. Um, that's pretty much the only time I wear this. Um, I did wear it to the gym the other day and I, I like I enjoyed it there. So that's a cheapie for y'all. Um, Lacoste Match Point. Um, another cheapie I'm going to mention is this one, which you can't go wrong with this. This is Banana Republic Red Classic Men. I think that's the, the official name of it, or Classic Red Men, something like that. Um, this is an EDP. You can easily find this for around $20, um, which I think is a fantastic deal. This is 100 mil, um, lasts about you know three, four hours, but it's a beautiful, clean, if you like clean fragrances, this is the way to go. They have the Classic Original. Um, this is a flanker called Red. And then you have some other, um, so this is the one that has Gaillac wood in it, um, along with honeysuckle, lilac, grapefruit, bergamot, and clementine. So really nice, light, um, clean citrus is what you get with this. Um, they also have one that's called classic aqua and then classic citrus. Um, so those have like a slight, uh, difference to them, but I, I highly enjoy this Gaillac wood one. Um, simple fragrance again, um, after the shower, you know, going to run a quick errand. If you don't need something that's super long lasting, uh, can't go wrong with this, $20, one of the best cheapies out there. And then two other ones that I want to mention are, are these. Um, but unfortunately, these are kind of impossible to find. They don't even exist online, so, um, which is a shame because these were the best two I've ever seen. It's about 60 mil for some of the best priced fragrance I've ever seen, but it's either they got rid of it completely or it didn't make sense financially to, to keep making these, but um, really great fragrances. This one's salt and driftwood. So you got cardamom, sea salt, clary sage, super easy wear as well. And then this one has a little bit of character. Um, it has some nice dirty uh, vetiver in there. And you got clementine and tonka and a bunch of other notes as well, but Unfortunately, these are not found, but if you can find them, definitely pick them up. I think they're at the bigger Banana Republics, as as long uh, or as long as they were, um, you know, they, it's been a couple years, but I have no idea. And then last but not least, I made a review of this yesterday, but this is another summer fragrance that I'm going to be pulling out. Uh, Desandre by Les Abstray. Um, nice, dry green masculine fragrance i don't know what to say about this but i've been wearing this once once to two times a week now and i highly enjoy it um you should you should try it out um as far as my top three like i said i'm gonna have to go with like if i'm gonna recommend something for y'all um debaser definitely check out that's number number one one out of the three Let's go with uh, Boy Chanel. And then I got to go with a mall. If I'm going to recommend one out of all of these, it's going to be Rose and Queer. And we'll pretend we have a full bottle there. But uh, those are my top three. I know I made it quite a big of a list, but you got Debaser, Boy Chanel, and Rose and Queer. And we'll leave it at that, guys. Let me know what you think. Or if you've smelled any of these, catch you guys in the next one.